Why, why is this clown staring at a wall? Oh no, he's staring at a plant. Why are you staring at a plant? What up, David here with some more Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now we've navigated through Veilstone a bit. We got the Cobble Badge from Maylene. We just got the TM for Fly without even doing anything in the warehouse, which is not what I expected. But we are in the Galactic Warehouse, which means I need to slap a few people, I would imagine. Whoa, 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 what have we here? You're n so not Team Galactic, and you're a little kid to boot. These things were made with the energy we took from the Valley Windworks. Our... Those things are already in Pistoria City. Huh? This is, that's not what this is about? Did I just blab a ton of stuff to you? Oh, okay. Oh, so they're just really dispensing information. Oh, so uh, I can't open any of these doors, either in the Galactic Headquarters or this warehouse, until later on. Which is kind of cool, actually. Whoa. Alright. And I wonder if that area... So it seems like when I go down, it'll adjoin to, like, these storage lockers, I guess? But, again, I know it, I, I've played this game before, technically, when the original Diamond and Pearl came out, and Platinum. But, of course, I don't, like, remember a lot of this stuff, so... It's kind of cool to, like, see it basically with fresh eyes again. I don't think there's anything in Deoxys' little hole here, right? I wonder if he's even programmed into the game. Like, cause I, if I recall, you couldn't really access Deoxys without trading it in. Are you going to take Route 20, to, whatever? <laughs> it's chewed up and there's nothing to see. Oh, right. Yeah, this guy, I think every badge you get, he gets a little further. And I think it ends up being like a shortcut or something. Oh, looks like I need to slap this trainer. Appears to be a psychic. Fuego, she did such an amazing job. I'm gonna give her a break, and we'll let Sparkle roll in. And, cause I know she'll be, uh, Sparkle a girl? Look out behind you, what is it? This is a psychic, Bite should definitely take her out. Psychic Abigail's got three Mons. The first is Ghastly, followed by Kadabra. And yes, I checked, Sparkle is a girl. <laughs> And ending with Mischievous. Yeah, the move Bite, man. It just takes everything out. Oh, I, I used Flash by accident. Oh, Sparkle wants to learn Volt Switch. Is that stronger than Spark? Okay, it is, but her attack is better. Also, I don't want her to switch. <laughs> so, but yeah, let's uh, not learn Volt Switch. But that was good. Psychic Abigail. She had a Kadabra, and she had two ghosts. My plan to scare you didn't go over well at all. That's fine. I'm hard to scare. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'm really easy to scare. That's why I don't play horror games. You might be tough, but let down your guard at your own risk. Is that a threat? <laughs> Abigail. All right. My treasure senses are going off. Again. Probably to no avail. I'm guessing the treasure that I'm foreseeing is up there, because that has to be an invisible item. Anyway, all your berries are belong to me. Oh, I see an item. How did that person not attack me? Oh, they're facing the wrong way, that's why. X special defense. No, nothing invisible over here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so we got that trainer. Let's see how this guy's doing. Alright, Ruin Maniac Cave. Oh, TM for Dig. I love how Dig's always been TM28. It's one of those ones that you just always remember. Oh, whoops. Kind of like how TM24 is always Thunderbolt. And TM13, I think, is Ice Beam? I forget Flamethrower. I think it's 35. I, I know I just bought these, but... Oh, I think Psychic is TM10, actually. No, it's a little sudden, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown, and I'll keep digging. Oh, it's not badges, it's the unknown. I see. Every time you catch Unknown, he gets a little bit better. So, or a little bit further. Right now, all I got is Sweet D, but yeah, maybe I'll grab some Unknown later on. It doesn't seem like a camera exciting endeavor, but we'll smash the rock. No Pokemon inside? All right. Oh, man. Here, I thought I could avoid everyone. Oh, but is there an item here? Every time the game makes me think there's an item somewhere, there ain't. 
However, there has to be one by that fence. That's too conspicuous. Okay. Before I fight that ruin maniac, I want to fight you. Win or lose, who knows how this will go? We're playing for keeps. Are you a gambler? That's what you sound like. But he's just wearing a trench coat. P.I. Carlos. Oh, interesting. What are you investigating? Uh, I don't know. That's really cool. I forgot this was a trainer class. Anyway, Goldeen. Followed by Goldeen. Ending with Goldeen. And you know what? I think it's time to show off our first Thunderbolt. Let's see what it looks like in this game. Because Thunderbolt's like classic. Oh, so good. I like it. Simple. Not too elaborate. Not too, you know, nothing going on. Perfect. That's a good looking Thunderbolt. That actually looks a lot like Pikachu's Thunderbolt from the anime. Like the original anime. I'm sure, I mean, it hasn't really changed too much. I guess wrong too often. Well, why does he have a coin if he's a private investigator? He feels like a gambler. Is that a localization thing? Can't get into the groove. That's enough for today. I feel like you're a very poorly localized gambler. Oh, oh, you saw that? You missed me. How are you not an item? How are you not an item? That's crazy. Anyway, fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Oh, come, get over here. What? You do? You do have a Pokedex. I wonder how expensive a Pokedex is in this world. Collector Brady. All right. Starting off with Ponyta. Followed by Ponyta. I sense a theme with these trainers. Ending with, you guessed it, Ponyta. In other news, both Thunderbolt and Spark uh, one hit KO'd both, uh, all three of them. I'm so envious of your Pokedex. That's fine. It's fine. I didn't even ask for it. In fact, I didn't. I said no, and Professor Rowan was scary. Trainers have all sorts of Pokemon with them, right? So the more you battle, the more your decks will fill up. Yep, that's how that goes. Hello. You must be a beauty, I think. That's what I believe your luck is. Oh, you want to teach me something about Pokemon? I mean, sure. What do you want to know? Type advantages, basic EV training, beauty Devin. Devin's got Wormadam. Oh, have we seen Wormadam? I feel like Wormadam's kind of new. I think Wormadam was Gen 4, right? Anyway, Thunderbolt should take this out. I don't think it's not very effective. Oh, it's a grass type. I forgot. Its colors mean a whole thing, but it got paralyzed, which is good. Now, I wonder if Spark is actually a better option, or if just I should bite it. The answer was I should bite it, or not, I don't know, I'll never know, because my mons keep getting criticals. Not that I'm complaining. But I guess you can say, warm a day, um, Devin. Wow, is that right? Uh, yes. Thunderbolt has the ability to paralyze, and bite can sometimes land in a critical hit. Not that it has a high ratio. There are so many kinds of Pokemon, I can't decide which one to pamper. All right, well, I mean, I don't know. People love Vulpix. Uh, people love Pachirisu. I'm thinking of cute things. I'm thinking of Pokemon that would get pampered. I sensed the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you. It was probably Devin up there. But, sure. <laughs> we got Psychic Mitchell. He's got a Haunter. Alright, I too have a Haunter. Followed by Kadabra. The team is so well equipped to deal with everything. <laughs> Defeating you will be no easy matter. Yeah, kind of. I'm well diversified. And I got a mysterious voice that, uh, force that keeps making my Pokemon get experience. Is it possible to become more powerful by understanding Pokemon? Well, yeah, knowledge is power. You have to be an item. Okay, thank. I, I don't know what I would have done. Also, heart scale, cool. All right. I don't think I want to repel because I don't know what items are in this area. I mean, sorry, <laughs> what wild Pokemon are in this area? I do know what Pokemon I want to add to the team, and there is one more wild one, but I don't think we're going to encounter the one I want to lake it. Alright, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will give you a hint by saying there's a reason I haven't taught Magmar Solar Beam yet. 
Big Root! I mean, bought the TM to teach Magmar. Because in the old game, I actually had my Magmortar no Solar Beam. It was kind of cool. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. What? Well, I mean, I guess you'll run into different Pokemon that way. Because if all you can kill is Bug Catchers, Douglas, then that's just how that goes. Oh, by the way, Roselia. Followed by Roselia. Oh, and Roselia. Jeez. <laughs> you know you get, like, lulled into a false sense when you just see the same Pokemon? And that's how you do that, Douglas. You should boast more about that last attack. It was bite. It wasn't special at all. You should boast more that your last Roselia took two hits instead of one. I'm proud of having a Pokemon that others don't have. Oh, and I'm also proud of winning the second prize on Jubilife TV's Daily Drawings. Nice. Congratulations, dude. Also, Douglas, if you want to fight people that can't that you can't win against, you should fight Mitchell up there. That Kadabra would destroy those Roselias. Oh no, I don't think this is gonna end well. I've been traveling on the world chasing the stories on mysteries. It's maybe pretty tough. This guy probably has a ground type that's gonna make my life hard. Oh, but he's only got one. Ruin Maniac Hunter. He's got a shield on. Actually, if this is just a rock type, I think Thunderbolt will do fine. It's if it's ground type, then I'll be a problem. Oh, yeah, that's a powerful move. Oh, and I'm poisoned. I think that actually did less damage, so yeah, we got a powerful Thunderbolt. I'm glad that Bite finished it off, but there was a chance its Iron Defense would have made that not happen. Oh, that's a downer. I mean, you only got one Pokemon, but it's tough. There are many mysteries waiting for me to investigate around the world. There's no time for me to be feeling sorry for myself. Wow, oh, love that can-do attitude. Wait, were you here before? Was... He was not there before. Where did you come from? Oh, wait. If I find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way. Actually... Did I... No, I didn't explore that because I didn't go past that first Ruin Maniac. Never mind. Okay, Jamal. You, you're not freaking me out as much as you I thought you were initially. Buizel! Followed by Buizel! Oh, here we go again. And of course, Buizel. They're my favorite Pokemon! <laughs> yeah, gosh, that, that battle was interesting. You're trying to find the Pokemon you want, you need to go everywhere! Not just east and west either, south and north are important too. Yes. All the Cardinal, oh my god. Well, at least I can see a... Oh, cool! It's Sudowoodo! I like Sudowoodo a lot, and I would even consider using one, but not in this gen. There's too many other Pokemon that I like. But, and we already got Roxas anyway. But bye Sudowoodo! If it was Gen 2, I would definitely use Sudowoodo. Because remember, Sudowoodo was like novel in Gen 2. Oh, I knew it! I knew you'd something would be around here. Also, Sparkle's been putting in work, and I think it's time to heal her up. Because <laughs> I have antidotes, I might as well use them. And, uh, I guess... Oh, we should probably eliminate these potions first. Because I'm not going to need these. These are early game items. Alright. Oh, and you know what? The other one's a full heal, so sure. Three potions. Don't fight me. Okay, great. Let's see if this Rune Maniac has anything. This area seems to be mystifying. That's the sense I get. Show you what I mean? I'll battle with the Pokemon I found. Like you just caught it? Because... If it, if it lacks training, this will not go well. Ruin Maniac Brian! He's got a Cranidose! Followed by Geodude. I haven't seen Brian yet. Oh, okay, that doesn't look very whelming. Ending with Bronzor! I kind of like this guy's well-diversified team. And also, by the way, just so you know, when I was talking about Brian not looking very overwhelming, it, was, it wasn't because it didn't kill it, I knew it was because of Sturdy, but still, it just the move itself looked kind of like, eh. Uh, we'll see what Ice Beam looks like later on, I'm sure. I can't win with Pokemon that I'm not familiar with. Well, I mean, you just gotta train him up. Sorry, it seems to be very mystifying, that's the sense I get. Did you not just say that already? Am I losing it? I mean, <laughs> uh, let's be real, I've already lost it a million times before I played this game. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, got ambushed pretty hard there. Another one of- these things are everywhere. I feel like Rapidash is a- oh my god. A very underappreciated Pokemon. You know, I mean, in Gen 1, you know, people loved Arcanine and Ninetales so much. 
I feel like Rapidash kind of got left to the side, but I don't know. Question of the day, is there like a, a Pokemon that you feel like gets overshadowed, but it's one of your favorites? Am I really gonna go over there to slather that bark with honey? Of course I am, because that's just the kind of guy that I am. Even though I know I'm never <laughs> going to revisit these, like, ever. Okay, nothing? Dang. Alright, I think one of my favorite underrated Pokemon is actually my favorite Grass-type Pokemon, which is Victory Bell. And nobody likes Victory Bell, and I think nobody likes Vileplume either, and I love them both. Oh, there's a lot of grass here. Let me guess, more Ponyta? Oh, hey! It's a giraffe egg. I remember you guys were pretty rare in Gen 2. But it's nothing I want to catch, per se. Oh. Oh, they're not trainers, are you? Protect the like. It's nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name is Cyrus? Ooh, your guys are galactic scientists. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Not too sure, but apparently to protect the lake. Hmm. Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus. Got a paralyzed heal. Oh, town time already? Whoa, I didn't even notice when I entered the town. Was it here? Wait, is this part of the town? Yeah, that's Road 214, Valor Lakefront. Oh, so the lakefront kind of has its own little mini town, but I don't think it's a formal town. At least it didn't have a, a drop down. Yeah, it's like a little roadside. Seven Stars Restaurant. I remember this place. I do remember that place. Are you guys the Wind Straits? No, no, that's no, that's uh, Gen 3. <laughs> David. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere. The hotel people won't be happy with me. <gasps> it's an outdoor hotel. I see. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter. Oh, we will help her out. Oh no, he's gonna stop me. Stop, stop. Yes, you. Sunny Star Shitty? Sunny Sh- <laughs> I can tell you really like this town, my friend. <laughs> Which is down this road has a major blackout. Oh, crews are working on restoring the power, but the road's closed now. That's Sunny Shore! That's where my villa is! Cannot wait to get my villa. So you can go to the restaurant. And we're gonna probably do that last, because I think there's people I can battle there. I'd rather be in a pool than the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. <laughs> Shit, that just got real. <laughs> Squee reek. I know how you feel, my dude. Squee reek to you too. Come on back here after you defeated the champion. Don't forget about me here, okay? Yo, you're gonna prune up real hard if you wait that long. Bottle of pee pee up. Oh, this area is nice. I forget there was a hotel on the outskirts of Sunny Shore. Who's in this little house? This little shack? Gengar! How you doing? It's my boy. And Psyduck. Nope, stop. Oh, this guy's got a Gengar shirt! I have a Gengar shirt, too. I don't wear it because it's faded horribly. Hi there, it's me, the Gengar Lovin' Director. Battling other trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tough trainers. Oh, dope. Will you love me if I come in with a Gengar? Ciao, I'm a game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you're filled with tons of entries. This bed seems a bit small for everyone here, but you know what? Do, do, yeah. Y'all do, yeah. But seriously, it's like, it's like a cot. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. I want to find this girl's key. I think that'll make her happy. Okay, what do we got here? Really? There, there, there are some places that are just begging to have an item in them, and I'm surprised. I'm honestly astounded that that's not an item. Why, why, why is this clown staring at a wall? Oh no, he's staring at a plant. Why are you staring at a plant? We're a traveling troupe of street performers. In place of a formal introduction, please take these. Okay, thank you. What is this move? Trick room is a doozy of a weird move. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, it's a fancy one. 
Me, I'm a simple soul. I let my guitar do all the talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. I could shine wherever I go if I had those things in my life. Oh, that was very positive. Let me gaze into your eyes. I will read your fortune. Destiny shall shift. Whether that bodes well or ill is beyond the scope of my sight. Well, I don't expect my life to be the same forever. Like, come on. That's one of those BS fortunes. Okay, so there's a shack over there that you need rock climb to get into. I wonder if that's a sweet key. It can't be. Oh, hello. Is that right? You're a traveler. Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Whirl Islands in the Johto region? I have. The silver-colored Pokemon. I must see that in my lifetime. Sorry, a long time ago I caught it. It was level 70 because I had gold version. Right. Okay. It's always cool to see how, like, in different regions, they're like, ah, this Pokemon. It's like a legend, and he's like, oh, we've been there, we've seen it. It's kind of cool. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on po uh, Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Interesting thought. <laughs> I'm gonna walk this way now. Oh, hello, you wish to save the night? I'm afraid we are totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. Hey, you just sleep behind the counter? You restored your Pokemon to full health. Thank you. Now that was an actual cot situation. Okay, that must be her sweet key. Oh, the kid's gonna fight me. You know it. How you doing? Shellio. I stand sto stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. The seaside suits me better than the sea. Interesting. I've got a red shard. Oh, that's not the sweet key. How much you want to bet that's the sweet key? And I need freaking rock climb to get it. Oh. Okay, so I don't have surf, which is nice. <gasps> oh, I wonder if I could have timed this as a double. <laughs> I can battle too. Really now? Alright. You're challenged by Tuber Chelsea! She's got a bee barrel! Alright. My god, that thing is like the size of five of you. Oh, I love how this beach turned into, like, the desert behind me over there. <laughs> Alright, let's spark this thing. Oh, you fast. You're a fast boy. That's fine. I actually really like this location. I love the way this beach looks. That's a really cool backdrop. It's even got, like, a rock in there, too. That's beautiful. Love it. Alright. I, I, I love beaches. Not as much as I love sunsets. Oh my god! During sunset, that thing probably looks amazing. I lost, and now I feel hungry. Alright, well. Everyone, a lot of people are hungry in this game, I've been noticing. That cloud looks like ice cream. I wish I could eat some. God, I'm glad I ate before recording this. Mmm. I got a fisherman. Oh. Ooh, there's like stuff going on here. Dr. Footsteps house. Okay, hold on. I feel like this is the way forward. So. Oh. God. How much you want to bet this guy could have blocked me in? I seriously think that could have happened. Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. I almost got blocked in by this stupid kid. Challenged by Tuber Jared. Jared sent out Shellos. And Shellos. And Shellos. This one's pink. Come to think of it, I think it's actually pronounced Shellos. I couldn't move very well because my inner tube got in the way. You don't need to move, your Pokemon do. I, last I checked, they weren't wearing an inner tube. My mom blew up my inner tube for me. I ran out of breath just opening it. Okay. Really excited about his tube. But yeah, I want to go back to the restaurant. Because you know someone's going to want to fight me in here. That poor girl's going to be locked out of her suite for a while if I have to wait till I get... Whatchamacallit. Rock climb. At our restaurant, you can enjoy more than exquisite dining. You may also partake in battles. Bon appetit! Alright. Got my work cut out for me. I wish mom were here to eat with us. My mom gave me my Pokemon. Want to see how tough they are? <gasps> yeah! Can I fight all these people? Challenged by veteran Emmanuel and... Oh, last... Blythe! You don't see that name very often. Anywho, we got... Machop and Bidoof. Followed by Bronzor and Bidoof. That Bidoof knew Yawn. Freaking Yawn. Tough, aren't you? 
I was with my dad, too. That's okay. You can see how crap you are. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Next time, let's all come here together, even the baby. What? Blythe, I hope the new baby will grow up to be as kind-hearted as you. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, it's time to fight more people. We got a scientist and a breeder. Who knows what they're talking about? The genetic future of Pokemon! Oh dear, I wish you wouldn't. We're at a fancy restaurant. Do you want to analyze what's served? Oh, you're a trainer? No. I'm not until my Onyx is awake, actually. <laughs> Okay, now I'm a trainer. This beverage coloration borders on positively toxic. However, my analysis indicates that it's composed of natural ingredients. Oh, yes, a trainer. Did you bring a whole lab kit here? Alright, we got scientist Emilio and breeder Kylie, was it? Kaylee. Kaylee and Emilio. With Stunky and Kadabra. And Buizel. Oh my god. I did a lot. <laughs> Great job, Rox. I'm not used to Dragon Breath taking things out. I was actually thinking about getting rid of something. Maybe one of the Rock-type moves for Dig, because Roxas doesn't know an, a, an Earth, a ground move yet. Failed to foresee this outcome. You know, I had confidence before heading into this. I mean, you just came to the restaurant, you know? There's also that battle of insignificant. Let's celebrate. Cheers, dear. Please don't start analyzing what we just drank. You're too late for that. Oh, they're cute. I like them two together. <laughs> All right. Mmm, the chef plumbed this flumbed, flumbed this to perfection. The rich aromas and flavors fill my mouth with joy. You're throwing down a challenge in the middle of our meal. I would say you're a very dedicated trainer, especially for one so young. Oh yeah, that's right. The sauce. It's spicy, made of Hoenn style from cherry grated cherry berries. Would you like to sample a bite? Oh, right. Pokemon battle? Well, I'll take a bite, too. I love spicy. Oh. Challenged by Le Leonardo and Rebecca. Gentlemen and Madame. We got Roxas. Oh. <laughs> Why am I announcing my own Pokemon? I meant to say they got Lopunny and Starly. We haven't seen Lopunny yet. So that's that's different. Oh, no, uh, let's fuck slide it, actually. Uh, we might even destroy everything. Oh, and it's got instant transmission. How dare it. Oh, well, there goes that. Followed by Glammeow and Hoot Hoot. I guess you could say that was a hoot. Ah, I lost. Check, please. So young and yet so strong, how very remarkable. Why would you ask for the check? You said I was you were in the middle of your meal. They had a lot of cash. <laughs> I know I had an amulet coin, but still. Battling is fine, of course, but personally I'd rather be out enjoying good meals. I'm very satisfied with our meal and our battle. Was he eating while we were battling? <laughs> the balls on that man. All right, how you guys doing? My Pokemon buddies heard I went on a date with you, Allison. They'd probably hate me for it. Are you Allison's fan too? What? God, is she like one of those influencers who thinks she's an influencer because she has a thousand followers on Instagram? Sorry, what? A date? Um, Eugene, you're a valued customer and all, but I just don't know. I'm being in—I know I'm being indecisive, but I have to admit his invitation was too flattering to refuse. I'll let my Pokemon decide for my fickle, heartless battle. <laughs> you don't you use me as a distraction, Allison? <laughs> this poor guy. What is it, Emmanuel or Eugene? Yeah, Eugene. <laughs> The poor Eugene! Why'd you even go to dinner? Ugh. I wonder who's picking up the bill here. God damn it. I'll save you, Eugene. By the way, Rosilia and Clefairy. Oh, damn. Damn, Allison. She does not want to get found out right now. She's got another Clefairy. Let's finally see what Ice Beam looks like. Yep, that's what expected. <laughs> and it hits just as hard as I remember. I mean, granted, he had no health left, but... Another Clefairy! Alright, that's how you do that. I don't care if I lose, I'm still a happy guy. Eugene. Well, you're too much. Oh, Eugene. Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. You know, it's true what they say. There's no evil among Pokemon fans. It goes for you and Eugene. What? what? I, I cannot tell. <laughs> Seeing your smiling face, I can't tell if these appetizers are delicious or not. 
Uh, oh my god. Okay, I'll leave you two to your own devices. What's going on over here? There's no price too high for the sake of my art. That said, oh my, these meals look awfully pricey. What is it, are you feeling hungry too? No, that's not it. You wanted a battle. Of course I gotta see what you're all about. I have to slow down on eating these delicious hors d'oeuvres. I don't want to be all bloated by the time the main dish comes. I'd like a light battle to work in my appetite. Would you care to join us? Sure. Okay, well these two seem like they're having fun. They're just chilling. For all I know, that's, uh, it's Mile is Harley... Is that Harley? Yeah. Harley's gr uh, grandpappy. But no, we got, we got, we got a, we got some nice couples here. We got a father and daughter. We got these two. Eugene and Allison got their thing going on. And then you got that old couple, and then uh, a kind of what looked like a boyfriend girlfriend down there. It's a cool place. I like it. I, you know, I have a soft spot for world building and Pokemon and things like that. I'm not going to lava plume you. <laughs> Do not worry. That's all they had, honestly. Does that mean I'm the only, only, only talented as an artist? I think I have what it takes to become a successful model. These two are just on different pages. They're like, they don't even sound cohesed. The hors d'oeuvres haven't grown cold. These are supposed to be served chilled. Oh, there you go. My hors d'oeuvres have gone cold. <laughs> Alright, guys. How you doing? Do you want to fight me now? Uh, okay, fine. I wonder if you can do this every day. Because I think uh, I recall something about it being a different set of people every day. That could have been X and Y, I'm not sure. A lot of these later generations just kind of get mixed together in my head. But uh, that was fun. Get some battles in. Get some levels up. Oh. They're gonna, is she going to see me? Oh, she saw me. Let me demonstrate my technique. It's how this grown-up battles. It's how this grown-up battles? It's how this grown-up battles. You're not that much older th Well, I guess my ch my character is like a fucking child. You're probably like an actual adult. What is it? Cindy? Oh, I haven't seen that spelling of Cindy. Ever. All right, but she's got a Glimmyow. That's how you attack? Pshaw. I mean, that's how I attack. With force! You're so much more of a trainer than you look! I- you know, I- I- I kinda forget the fact that your character is like a straight-up child and all the- a lot of the NPCs you run into aren't children, you know? So, it's- it's kind of interesting. Is- are you gonna fight me? There's something on top of that big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but how am I supposed to climb up? Yeah. God. Brings me back to, like, the Spyro the Dragon days. I see something shiny up here, but you'll need to figure out how to climb ladders! Oh, man. No items. Okay. Wait, what was the point of... Wait, what? what's through that side area then? What a world this is to explore. Uh, by the way, was that a blue... Have we run into a blue Shellos in the wild? Because that was a blue Shellos in the wild. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, of course, you know, I'm going to slather this bark with honey. Because what else would I do with all this honey in my bag? It has been slathered. That's like a good place for a secret base. If those were in this game, that totally would be a, an awesome place for that. <gasps> That's delicious. You love to see that. Who's in here? Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on a beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy footprint, living footprints as much as people. Oh yeah, I didn't go into that footprint house. That was weird. Long way from Veilstone. I'm exhausted. Eh, I wouldn't call it that long. Where am I now? Pastoria City! How about that? Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff going on in Pistoria. Oh, this is a Great Marsh Observatory gate. Well, of course, with a new town, you know... Well, then, where's the thing? Is this the one? Yeah! You know, when it's a new town, you gotta explore it in the new next episode. And I think we'll also go back to the footprint guy. But this is a great place to end it off anyway. So! Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Blade Cross, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. For now, this is Dave out. Peace out. Later.